Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we'll be discussing how to build a simple status tracker in Excel. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump in. So today we're gonna to talk about building tables. So we built this small franchisee output to understand margin within different small franchisees. And let's say as part of this project, you have scheduled a number of interviews with small franchisees to understand what Lee's Painting Company could be doing to better support these franchisees. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy this tab because I have a lot of this formatting already built and I like it. I will delete these rows. I will copy this down. Maybe I delete this, you know, figures and I just call this franchisee tracker. What I can do is build a, a really simple table that will enable me to understand the status of my different franchisees and how they've tracked appropriately. This is obviously helpful for you understanding the status of different projects, but more importantly, it will also help you easily communicate to your manager and your client that you're on top of different tasks and you're tracking it in a very clear way. Maybe we want to schedule interviews with the biggest ones. So I'm just going to copy those. I'll put them in here. And then maybe you also want to schedule a few with these small franchisees as well. So I'm just going to select a few of these because it actually doesn't really matter. I'm going to paste them in here and I'll just call this franchisee, right? I like the underlying italic. So control U, control I. Um, this is actually already indented because of the pivot table, which is nice. And then what's the first thing we want to do? So the first thing we want to do is think about the communication. So you're going to want to put different steps in different areas of your columns. So maybe the first thing we want to do is actually align on that these are the right franchisees to be interviewing, right? So if I put, you know, maybe aligned and then you can say whether or not, you know, we talked about Al-Anon or, or Clydesdale or, or whoever. The next thing you might want to do is write draft email and then you can put, you know, send email, um, you know, schedule interview, write interview guide, complete interview, summarize findings. So here are a couple of pretty simple buckets that will help you go through your process. And so if I select this, let's do Alt H or W to do column widths, maybe make these 12, uh, it's a little too small. So Alt H or W, you know, 18. I like to have all my column widths and tables the same. I find the auto fit column widths, Alt H or Y, kind of looks a little funky when you have a table. So I'd probably try to have consistent column widths, but that is personal preference. I just copy this so it's aligned with my franchisee row. Next thing I wanna do is I like using the format cells option. So control one will give me this really easy border. What I probably wanna do is I probably want a straight solid line on the outside. And then what I like to do is use a small dotted line on the inside horizontal, and then maybe this dash, maybe we can make this, you know, like a, a lighter gray dashed on the inside. So if I hit okay, I think that actually looks, you know, okay. We can obviously clean this up and make it a little bit nicer. Maybe you wanna make your franchisees italic. Maybe you want to make this top section a different color. So if you wanna go control one, you know, fill, you can make this a gray. You can make this bold. Maybe you want to make it, you know, a slightly different size. You can go back. You could even, you know, put it in the center if you want, right? So a number of different things you can do in that section. It looks like I'm overflowing. So Alt H W. Let's do twenty, and that looks good. Next thing I'm going to do. I think this table looks fine. I don't think it's probably the prettiest table ever written, but we can talk about how to clean that up. I would probably make some delineation between your franchisees and the rest of your table. So Alt HBR will put in a solid border to your right. Again, you could also go in here, control one border straight line, right? We'll do that. If you want a thick border, you could do that on the right, different things you want to do. That's probably a little thick for me, but we'll leave that for now. 
probably easiest way to track this is make all of these colors yellow. So I like to just, you know, one fill, I like this lightest yellow. And then if you go in and use conditional formatting, so Alt HL will highlight your cells rules. So if I just make this equal to yes is a custom format and this custom format will actually have a white fill and maybe we make this font italic some kind of like darker gray hit okay so what i can do is i can go through and maybe i'm working on clydesdale and i'm like yep i wrote the draft email maybe you know i aligned on all of these and then for him we sent the email and then for um, some of these other ones i said yes i said yes and it makes it really easy for me to track my progress and then see what I still need to do. So, right, I still need to write the draft email, I still need to send it. And I find this is a super simple way to at least track it yourself and then communicate it. You can say, these are what we've accomplished. This is what we have not accomplished so far. So this is a really simple way to do it and really, really fast to set up. You may need something a little bit more involved or that looks a little bit cleaner, particularly if you're presenting it externally, right? This was fine for our purposes and probably fine for what I would use for something internal, but maybe if you're using something externally, you probably want something a little bit more detailed. Let's talk about how we might do this. Let's say you want to add top level headers because I think it's nice to see here's your top level objective and then here is the sub objectives within that category. So let's say my first objective is client alignment. My, what I can do is just drag this over. I'm going to copy this formatting because I think it's pretty easy to copy that formatting instead of recreating center cross selection. I'm going to make all of these not bold anymore. I will actually make the font size smaller. And then maybe I make the font color actually the lightest gray so that it's, it's obvious these are my subcategories. My top categories, I'm just actually going to use maybe an ascending darkness. So if I go control HH, I'll just use this gray and then just build it up from there. I think that always looks nice and I'll just leave it bold 12 font. So within my client alignment, maybe I have a couple buckets, right? Maybe my first one is, you know, summarize data for meeting. Maybe my next one is align with manager and then, you know, schedule meeting with client. And then maybe my next one is, you know, client alignment. And so within I'll delete this within this group, you have a number of different sub tasks that you may need to accomplish to accomplish this whole group. Let's say for your next one, so this is, you know, scheduling meeting, right? I, I am going to use maybe one darker color gray just to show that this is a different total category. I have, you know, write draft email, send email, schedule interview. I'll just delete this, right? Interview guide. And then this is maybe complete interview. Interview. Um, and I'll just make this, you know, one shade darker and I can again if if I want to keep going on this I'll try not to bore you guys to death but I could copy this and I could say you know summarize insights and let's go through each one of these I'll make this you know maybe the the darkest gray so I can really see hey here are my different groups so we have our different client alignment schedule a meeting complete interview right this is right interview guide let's say you know, maybe incorporate edits could be into your interview guide. And then this is, you know, complete interview. And then this is, you know, clean up notes. So number of different items that you can have inside all of these. What I will actually do is change some of these borders. I actually don't love this outside border here. So if I go back control one, I can actually really easily remove borders. So if I say none and I click left, if I click top, if I click bottom, I've removed the top left and bottom border. So really easy way to work with borders. 
if I hit one, maybe I actually think this is a little, little too severe for me and I wanna change the width of that, I can do that. Maybe I wanna make this a little bit wider or you know, maybe I actually don't care if they're different widths and Alt HOI will give me an auto formatted column width. You can also go through and, and make these a little bit smaller. So if you're you know someone that doesn't mind having bigger rows, Alt Enter will create a line break. So if you want to go through these, you can you know make some of the longer ones a little bit shorter. And so that way it'll make your life a little bit easier and you can make this table a little bit smaller. So if I want to update this a little bit more, what I could actually do is maybe I want, you know, borders in between my different sections. And so if I go up here, the easiest way I know to do this is you can select a middle section, right? So I selected the section, second section. And if I want to put, you know, a straight line on the left and the right, I can just hit OK. And now I have a straight line on the left, right? I can select this. I can go control one and just put another border on the left. So here we have a pretty cleanly formatted table, right? And I can go through and maybe we're working, oops, if I just put yes, yes, and I can just update different tasks I've accomplished. It makes it really, really clear for me to communicate to whoever else I'm working with where we are on different franchisees. So I can really easily say, hey, you know, we haven't even summarized the data for Harry it up where for some other franchisees, we're actually much further along in the process. So really, really simple way to create a clean table to track your status on anything. And I can drag this border over. Uh, maybe I didn't realize there was a group there. So Alt A U U will ungroup those columns. And then you could drag this up or you know, delete a row here. And it just makes this nicely little formatted tracker table. Again, one thing I really like to do, right? You could, maybe you don't like this dash border. Maybe you want a bottom border. Alt HBO will let you do that. Or you could do that with the format cells option. Maybe you don't like these dash borders in here and you could select this. Either Alt HBA will put in regular lines or you can go back and do control one. This straight line border inside vertical, that also works, right? A million different ways to do things. Maybe you wanna come in here, you wanna select this. You actually want something a little bit lighter for your row dividers. So you come in here, maybe you select a light color gray, this dashed horizontal divider, I hit okay. That looks fine. Maybe you want some kind of inside border that's a little bit darker. So I could come up here, I could select the black, I could select dash and I could use inside vertical right that you can't really see but if you want to do you know any different variation that works and will let you toggle your table for your specific style just rename this tab alt hor will pull up your rename if i call this franchisee tracker and maybe I actually don't want this blue because it's the same as my output. Maybe I want to change this color. Alt H O T will give you a different color. Maybe I want to make this black so I can see my, my trackers really easily. I think that's a clear way to see it. You can see, you know, here's my tracker. Here's my output, my different output tables, my working data, my lookups, my lookup sheet. Feels relatively intuitive to me. Again, if, if you have a different style, you can use whatever you want. And then one little bonus tip here, if you're someone that just loves formatting, what you could do is maybe you wanna add like a completed column here. And so this will be, you know, you finished everything. What I would do is I like to generally make this black with white font. I find it makes it really pop and maybe I wanna delete this up here, Alt HEA. And then you want your borders, right? So. What I could obviously do is I could grab this, I could copy it, I could paste formats, control alt VT, and that pulls in some of my borders. If I wanna recreate this, just to show you how to do it, control one, right? We selected this third gray color. 
we clicked this dashed line, we clicked inside horizontal and added our horizontal lines. Next thing we wanna do is maybe we wanna add some kind of cool border on the outside. So control one, maybe I wanna make this red to be really obvious that this is my endpoint. And I wanna pick you know some kind of really thick line. So maybe one of these that has the dot in it outline and that will put a red outline around your border. Again, you don't necessarily need this. This is an example of what you could do and how I would set it up. A number of different ways to set up your tables. I have found this table format generally looks good and no one has complained to me about using a table format like this, but up to you and your specific formatting preferences and your team's formatting preferences for how you would like to set a table up. If you're interested in understanding how to build a question list and utilize conditional formatting to build tables in Excel, please check out the next video in our series. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained, and please comment any questions or feedback you have below.